pushing your body to the limits that you've never explored before in your whole life. Like, I guess having done arm women racing and surf ski paddling, you think that you've pushed yourself as far as it can go, but doing this is just a whole nother level. And I think without the team around me, I wouldn't have been able to do it mentally. So I'm realizing every single person in this team brings their own skills and strengths. And, and I think that's really gonna get me through as well. Merry Christmas everyone. It's gonna be a fun day. It's beautiful calm ocean, perfect paddling conditions for Bonnie. How's the body today? What's the worst part? The back, so it's just through the thoracic section in the middle, which is really inflamed. The other part is this bit of a rash or skin infection I've got happening under here, so we think it might be a bit of a heat rash. It's looking way better than yesterday. Yeah. yeah. That medication is hopefully kicking in. So just trying to stay on top of those two things at the moment. The plan is 60k today, um, which will take us 15 kilometres roughly from Port Stephens, which is where we're going to pull up um, for a Chrissy afternoon and, and Boxing Day. We're actually going to have a couple of days in Port Stephens. We get it done and we're hopefully going to be um, in Sydney Harbour for New Year's Eve fireworks. And that's really exciting. Christmas. Christmas on the Layla. It's the first one for us. How's it feel? Good. to come in oh my we would God, we would have gone so over there mm. and then down so we'd have done two sides oh, of a triangle anyway. instead of the mm. hypotenuse oh i feel like it's jets <laughs> yeah. which is just like empty calories but i can't i can't get anything else in like i couldn't even get that yogurt 500 times nine <laughs> so 4500 so divided by four a thousand calories in per packet. Yeah, there's not there aren't really that many left. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I'm just so ready to get back in the water. <laughs> Essentially three and a half days off because the boxing day was 20 k up. Yeah, I've been really happy how the body's uh, actually recovered. And um, it's going to be interesting. The first, we've got a little 30k to start, so 100k all up today, two lots of 30 and 225. It's going to be a good little experiment on the body and see if I feel stronger again this week. Is this hopefully the aim? Yeah. 
Oh, it's so nice to have some company out here. Yeah. Oh yeah, these boys um, had all across the back straight. Tazzy. Oh, true. Yeah. Who are we talking with? Charlie Brooks. Jake Reeves. We grew up watching the Hancock sisters in the series. Uh -huh. Now we're paddling with her, so it's pretty cool with her mentality. I think she'll get it done. We're not going around Tassie, but James was saying we might be 500k out to sea in that, okay. yeah, to cross the direct line across the um, Great Australian Bight. is one of the most beautiful spots that we hit so far and probably one of the most less familiar spots um, and then after that seeing Newcastle and um, Swansea and down through the entrance and just gone past Terrigal of Oka and now seeing some uh, spots I'm more familiar with at Palm Beach and Bond does comes here and does a little bit of racing and things like that so it's good to see that and uh, just around the corner from Sydney Harbour which is absolutely astonishing. <laughs> how many people I guess are following along and um, so the words of encouragement so yeah for the first sort of 10k today it was just lots of fun and I had some guys on outriggers join and I think that's really cool too when different disciplines can join in and it's all one big community. What does community mean to you in the surf world? Yeah it's, it's everything I think as you get older I mean I'm 31 now you realize that it's the friendships that you make places that you travel to and those memories that are more important than any results and things like that as well. So yeah, a day like today, I can actually enjoy it instead of having to race against people. I can talk to them along the way, which is cool. And I got to see one of um, my first coaches on the ski, um, Stevie Coulter. And one of the things he said to me was that on the really big days, like the 100 days, he said, no one's going to know how you're feeling and don't expect people to. And he said, you've almost got to become part of the ocean. Like he said, you think of yourself as like an aquatic sort of being. And he's an amazing person. He's a great paddler, but most importantly, he was, um, yeah, my first coach and sort of instilled that passion for surf ski paddling. So I'm going to try and be one with the ocean moving forward. We'll see how we go. It's a boat named after me. That's my word for today, milestone. Oh, okay. yeah.